Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. It's time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Just sitting out here enjoying a little bit. Still a little cool, but I got work to do today. I got, I'm just thinking about Jesus. Just thinking about the things that he says, has said, does still says today to people. Just thinking about the Lord. Thinking about the Word. Thinking about this good cup of coffee. Mm. Something about drinking coffee outside is just great. Hey, last night I was on a Zoom Bible study with some just amazing people. And when I, uh, we were going over uh, Luke uh, 19 and 20, and I read something last night that just struck my chord that I, when I read it, uh, and then we talked about it, and uh, a story came to mind about this. In Luke uh, 19, starting with verse uh, uh, 37, it says, Then he was now, this is the triumphal entry. It says, now he was drawing near to the descent of the Mount of Olives. The whole multitude of the disciples, didn't just say the disciples, it says the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd. So the multitude developed a crowd. A multitude of disciples had developed a crowd. And they said, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these kept silent, the stones would immediately cry out. That I'm not going to go into with the stones crying out. But what, I, what caught my eye, and I'd never really uh, uh, picked it up before, it said, the multitude of disciples began to rejoice. So in that rejoicing, the Pharisees were like, what is going on? And the story that was brought to my mind was a, uh, a friend of mine, an amazing man of God, uh, was doing prison ministry and he went for a worship night at a prison. And he said, he goes, Matt, he goes, these guys could, uh, um, they could play guitar pretty good. A couple of them played the guitar pretty good. He said, they could drum. They, they could drum pretty good. And he said, but they started singing that uh, song, uh, Rattle. <laughs> and as you know, the dry bones rattling. And when they got to the part when they were saying, live, live, he described it. I could feel it in my heart. But he said, Matt, I don't know if I've ever experienced that kind of worship. And he said, I was behind the barbed wire of a prison and I thought to myself, I don't know which side of the barbed wire I'm on. Think about that. When somebody praises to that very highest and with that intimacy, sometimes you have to ask the question, <laughs> what side of the barbed wire am I on? Am I a prisoner on the outside? Much like the prodigal son, not the one that the prodigal son's older brother. He was a prisoner and didn't know he was a prisoner. <laughs> yeah, he was a slave and didn't know he was a slave. I just got to thinking about that. The multitudes were praising him. So the multitudes praising him. The Pharisees were like, we can't take this. We don't know. And some of them had to ask the same question. What side of the bob wire am I actually on today? Yeah, you know that some of them are like, they don't praise like that at the temple. They have never you know, worshiped like that in my presence at the temple. There must be something to who Jesus is when they praise with that kind of authority, when they praise with that kind of passion, when they praise with that kind of love. They hadn't experienced that. And some of them had to ask the question, what side of the bob wire am I on? So, my question to you today, <laughs> what side of the bob wire are you on? When people praise to that high level and they're into that worship like that, is it doing something inside of you that's not good? Is it irritating? Is it, is it uh, an angst against your very spirit that's inside of you? Or are you joining in? Because the question is, from Luke... What side of the bob wire are you on? And my question would be today, after hearing the story of my pastor friend when he was in a prison, I had to ask, 
what side of the barbed wire I'm on because these guys are really free inside here though they're incarcerated. So though you may not be incarcerated, what side of the barbed wire are you on? So that's it. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I promise you. <laughs> Have a good day and enjoy the praise of the Lord today. See you soon. Goodbye.